continuity correction. When we use the normal distribution, which is a continuous probability distribution, as an approximation to the binomial distribution, which is discrete, a continuity correction is made to a discrete whole number x in the binomial distribution by representing the discrete whole number x by the interval from x minus 0 0.5 to x plus 0 0.5, that is, adding and subtracting 0 0.5. Continuity correction examples. Now, in the previous example, we used a continuity correction when the discrete value of 152 was represented in a normal distribution by the area between 151.5 and 152.5. Because we wanted the probability of 152 or more, yellow peas, we use the area to the right of 151.5. Here are other uses of continuity correction. Here we have the statement about the discrete value and then the area of the continuous normal distribution. So if you have at least 152, which includes 152 and above, then you're looking for to the right of 151.5. If you have more than 152, which doesn't include 152, then you would look for to the right of 152.5. At most, 152 includes 152 and below, so that is to the left of 152.5. Fewer than 152 doesn't include 152, and that would be to the left of 151.5. And then exactly 152 is between 151.5 and 